It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in this video, we're going to talk about all things Summer Festival in Hero Wars Dominion era. Everything you need to know from when we think the event is going to happen, what the event tasks are going to be, the main rewards, the gameplay loop, and even a couple of secrets from years past and what might be coming in 2024. But before we do that, please consider subscribing so you never miss a video. Turn on notifications so you never miss a live stream. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button though you know purely optional just watching is good enough for me now we got this july events teaser back on the uh, the end of june and it discusses all of the events that are coming in july and we know that summer festival happens in july every single year in fact we have these little bees floating around you know the different uh style of bees and it even says over here in the description summer festival is happening so the first thing that you need to know about summer festival and the number one question that everybody's been asking me is when is summer festival now the first thing that you can do if you want to find out for yourself is go back and look for the uh, the various pictures and postings about summer festival in years past in 2023 summer festival was on july 25th that was a tuesday in 2022 summer festival was on july 25th that was a monday 2021 here this was in june and in 2020 it was in june as well so in uh, 2020 and 21 it was in june we're already out of june that goes to show that's going to happen probably around the 25th of July. The 25th of July being a Thursday makes me think that it's either going to happen earlier in the week on uh, the 22nd or possibly the following week on the 29th since 2022 and 2023 both started on a Monday or a Tuesday, not later in the week. So we don't know for sure. We don't know 100% for sure when, but that's just kind of like our best guess, right? That's kind of our uh, best guess. Now, the second thing that you need to know about summer festival are what tasks and their rewards that you're going to have to be doing uh, throughout the event. And I want to take a look at Hero Wars Guide. And by the way, I've compiled a nice little blog post with all of this information on it. It's going to be listed in the description box down below, as well as Hero Wars Guide's return on investment event spending calculator that we use every single day. It's all going to be listed in the description box down below if you want to refer back to it in the future. These have been the tasks for Summer Festival the past couple of years, and they really haven't changed changed really as long as I can remember. It is a seven day or a week long event. You have login VIP level, not get VIP. You have spend emerald, spend energy, open outland chests, collect hero soul stones from any source, fight in arena or grand arena fights, and then the total special event quests that you could complete. And if you complete all of these, it is 140% return on investment if you spent emeralds or, or what have you. And if you want to play with this calculator a little bit, the way that it works is you have this sliding graph here. So for example, if you've collected 600 hero soul stones and you're thinking about collecting more, you might want to take a look at this to decide how deep you want to go. You can see that 900 kind of is the, the top of the bottom of the graph there. And then uh, if you just spend 100 more, it jumps up a huge amount on that return on investment and the big reward that you get from completing these tasks is honey honey is the event currency that you're going to use to do basically everything else it's a task into a currency that has to convert into another currency or another in something else in order to make it work you also do get summer festival coins which is kind of the big sought after item a second currency for summer festival and then uh, you also get usually an avatar or something at the bottom of each of the quest lines. Now, will there be different quests? We've seen a couple of opportunities in the past month where they've added a season of quests, a season of rewards kind of thing. We saw it with the uh, the Lara Croft event. We saw it with the um, uh, the Weaving Patterns event last month. Do we think that there's going to be some changes to the tasks this year? Yes, I believe, I really do believe that that is going to be the case. But if there isn't, this is what we've gotten, all right? And again, big shout out to Colin over at Hero Wars Guide for putting this stuff together. Now, the honey that you get can be deposited into this little hive on the Summer Festival dashboard. Every 250 honey you get, you can deposit in there for a chance at five different rewards. They're okay. They're not amazing. They are new for 2023. They were actually a little different in years prior, so I don't know if they're going to change again. And it is not an equal 20% drop rate here. You have Enchanted Room that's what you level up your hero's glyphs. You have chaos cores, skin stone chests, that's the small skin stone 
own chests, unfortunately. 400 artifact coins, and then finally the Summer Festival coin, which you use in the Summer Festival shop, which we'll talk about in just a second. The drop rate for these items has been all over the place. There are some people that say that you have to use at least three per day. The first one that you use always gives you a Summer Festival coin, and then the third one gives you a Summer Festival coin. Some people swear it's the fifth one. Some people say that that doesn't work at all. So what you can do is kind of pay attention to the community and just do it for yourself. Just try it for yourself. I know that a lot of people are gonna be spending all of their resources at the very front. And they're gonna be very eager to dump all of their honey into the to the hive as soon as they get it maybe it's worth waiting and spreading it out over the course of the week it really just depends on your play style i suppose i'm a little front heavy i like to dump all my resources as early as possible so i can be you know done with the activity done with the task and i'd have to think about it but at the same time i do enjoy playing through the events so what do you get to spend those summer festival coins on well the summer festival shop from last year at least looked a little something like this there are summer dolls, just like in most every event, and this is indeed what most of the currency will convert to at the end of the event. You have 100 soul stones of your choice with some restrictions, probably not Cleaver or Jed or Lara Croft or a few others, just like usual. And you can see that there are two here, so that does give you 100 soul stones. You have pet summoning eggs. Uh, you have skin stones. One coin is 4,500. This is actually, I believe, the highest, if not the absolute best value for emerald spend. Uh, the chaos particles, one for a thousand is slightly more valuable as far as emeralds, but usually you don't spend emeralds on chaos particles. So it you know, gets a little bit of philosophy in there. And then you have a ton of items. You can see the uh, red items there, uh, more red items for five coins. It dips a little bit into the orange items for around three and four coins. You can see the Unity of Extremes is a favorite of mine. And then there are some violet items to kind of wrap up the, the end of it. But there are a couple of things that weren't around last year in Summer Festival, and first and foremost being the flags and the patterns. So I'm hoping to see some of those added in here. But we will be doing a Best Buy video of course whenever we find out what the shop looks like but if you're curious about what my favorite best buys were from previous years I'll have that video linked in the description box down below uh, it'll actually all be linked on the blog post that I uh, that I accompany this video with so if you're curious about the best buys usually newer players should get the hero soul stone chest because it helps with that task to collect hero soul stones right kind of plays on itself that's one way to do it and getting a hundred soul stones of the hero of your choice is very beneficial but the skin stones and the chaos particles if you're just generally leveling fantastic decision to go with i personally will be buying one or two items just to save a lot of time and if you're a free to play player then the items are the way to go because if you're free to play you don't have raid you don't have vip you don't have speed up this is going to save you a ton of time to go that direction yeah absolutely worth considering there the summer dolls will put together a list and have that on the blog post as well and there's also an additional box called the beekeepers box it's another currency that you can earn elsewhere we'll share that list on the blog post as well if you're curious about how and what is in those content now it's in the most important thing and actually the first thing that you should do before summer festival ends is do the mini games now there are a few mini games there's a little bee mini game there is a little flower forest nymph mini, uh, mini game and there was even a mini game from uh, 2023 i've got videos explaining all of those in the description we'll share those separately as well but there are going to be hidden easter egg mini games throughout summer festival i don't know if there's going to be a new one every day like we had earlier on this year with the uh, happy birthday dominion events or if it's just going to be one added mini game or if there isn't any new mini games at all added this year but whenever the event goes live we will discover it maybe we'll even have a teaser live stream before where daniel tells us what the mini games are but the mini games all reward you some of the honey and a summer festival coin usually both sometimes it's one or the other and it's a it's a nice little park just for you know finding something and doing a little bit of exploration so the basic gameplay loop for the event is just like any other event you do some of the tasks to gain some honey you dump the honey into the beehive to get some random items and summer festival coins you use the summer festival coins to buy some good stuff and that's the event there really isn't much activity to do outside of that there isn't any you know kind of combat or any kind of you know guild focused event or at least there hasn't been in years past but there might be we hoping that they make some adjustments this year because the last thing that you need to know about summer festival is it is a very very hyped up event but 
only because once upon a time events didn't have of item shops and now that basically every event has item shops summer festival is just another event of course the items in the shop are a little nicer i suppose but yeah just keep that in mind as you work through the event hope everybody is looking forward to summer fest like i am if you have any more questions about it please let me know in the comment section down below uh, as soon as we learn more we will share it with you i promise i love you all good luck in dominion